So over the weekend, I added some emoji helpers at the bottom of my comment form to help me insert emojis into my comments. Now in the current iteration, I'm automatically inserting those emojis at the end of the text area. But as part of my next iteration, what I'd love to be able to do is to insert the emojis at a given location. So if the user clicks into the text area and then they go to click on the shortcut, you can see that this emoji was inserted into the text area at the last known location, the last known carrot position. Now, as I was putting this demo together, the big breakthrough that I had um, was understanding that the selection of a text area is actually retained after that text area loses focus. And we can see this by tabbing out of the input and then shift tabbing back into the input. And you can see that that selection has been maintained. And that's because the selection start and selection end properties are retained even after the input loses focus. And we can see this, let's, we can grab our text area here and let's go out here and lose focus. And then if we do zero dot selection start, oops, you can see that it has 18 and selection end has 32. And what that allows us to do is check those properties long after the element has lost its focus. So let's see how this is working, right? So we have, we can just insert some text here and I'm gonna tab out. I'm gonna to go to one of these and I'm just gonna hit spacebar because these are buttons and you can see that we've inserted the value there. I can tab again to my emoji and so on and so forth. So let's take a look at how this is working. It's quite simple under the hood. So we have our text area. We have our collection of buttons and I'm just gonna bind a click handler to my button here. And what you can see is that after we click, we're gonna to go to the input and we're gonna get that selection end property. So we're always gonna be inserting text at the end of the selection. We then slice the, so the input text into two parts. So the uh, part leading up to the carrot location and then the part after the carrot location. And then we're just gonna insert our button text into the middle of that string and then we're gonna refocus the input, but we're going to advance the selection start and the selection end so that they come right after the inserted text. So if we look at what this next selection end is, it's the location that we are inserting the new value at plus the new value's length. So for regular ASCII characters, this will be the current location plus one, but for some of our emojis, which require multiple code points, this might be plus two or plus three, and it just sort of magically works out for us. And that's all there is to it. So again, the big breakthrough in this implementation was really understanding that when you focus out of an input, that selection that we just saw, that's being re retained so that when I focus back into the input, you can see that that selection takes over again. And now if I hit this, we're gonna end up inserting right between I and am. And there we go. So I will be implementing that in my blog comments as well shortly.